morning guys welcome back to another video today is going to be a slightly different style of video um i'm actually going to be doing some like little home diys i don't know how long it's going to take me so i thought i'd just start on that and do a few other diys that i um want to do around our house um we're just trying to spruce everything up. We've got a lot done downstairs, um, but the upstairs has been a bit neglected. I've just written up my to-do list for the day. So um, I've journaled, which you would have seen, and had my coffee, etc. Uh, I need to post my new video. I'm really sorry. I have filmed a video last week and I forgot to post it. Like I uploaded it and everything, but I just forgot to make it live. And then I think it was like Tuesday and I remembered, I was like, oh wait, I like totally forgot about that. I just had a really busy weekend. Um, and yeah, so I was like, I may as well wait till Friday now. So yeah, I'm going to post that this morning while I film my new video, which is a slightly, anyway, it's this one, whatever. I need a breakfast. I need to cancel Canva Pro because we like um, did it temporarily and forgot to cancel it so I need to do that. I need to sign up for a NAB business bank account. I've got a gym class on. Usually I go really early but I don't know I'm trying to use my Fridays off um, as you know a bit of flexibility to my advantage so yeah I'm gonna go to that class. Uh, shower obviously. I want to paint the bedside tables which is one of the DIYs that I'm going to do but it's not a priority today. I can always do it tomorrow. I'm just having a really chill weekend this weekend because I had such a busy last busy weekend last weekend so I don't want to get run down again. I get run down quite easily <laughs> since I had glandular fever a few years ago so anyways. Work out what I need for the reupholstering of that lounge I was talking about look at office chairs because I literally like when I work from home when I say work from home I mean like you know like I go to work but on Fridays I work from home and like on the weekend and stuff and I don't have an office chair like I only have this one I have this like little stool if you can see that there <laughs> that I've been sitting on for like a few years to do my makeup and stuff um so I'm actually going to reupholster that as well um I moved this chair in here Oh my god, excuse the mess. This this room, yeah, it really needs some TLC. And I have that like little step stool, which I've also been sitting on. So yeah, I really need an office chair and I don't know whether I'm going to reupholster one, um, if my couch reupholstery works out, or whether I just buy one. Um, I've been looking at some like leather like brown like light leather ones which are kind of nice but i just want something that's comfy you know and work on our biz we had some samples arrive the other day and they look so good so i'm really excited um so yeah now we can kind of get stuff underway we're still waiting on a few samples um so just need to check in on those today and look at like packaging and things like that yeah just some like brand strategy stuff and yeah so anyways i'll take you guys along on this little random diy situation okay this is what it looks like in the back end if you haven't uploaded a video before um so oopsie um so it's in like youtube studio and it gives you a really ugly thumbnail so i like to upload my own so I create them on Canva and I just have to find this one, yeah. Cool, so now I have a new thumbnail which is much cuter than the other one. <laughs> yeah, it's all uploaded in HD. So now I copy the link and I go into Linktree. Linktree you post in like Instagram. Go up here to links. And you can put like literally whatever you want in there, like websites um, or your other socials. No. And I'm going to change my video link, obviously, because it's different. 
So I'm gonna pop that in there. Um, and then I just click out and I'm pretty sure it just auto saves lol. Now that that's done, that's all updated in my uh, Instagram bio. And so yeah, now I'm just literally just gonna go ahead and post it. That seems way easier than it is. Um, I literally spend like hours editing this um, and it takes so long to upload. So then in my end video as well, um, like how I have the thanks for watching, you can go into the part called end screens and then I like to do a subscribe button and you can actually move these. Like I don't think a lot of people know that because a lot of the times I see them, they're like <laughs> in the most random spots. But anyways, you can move them and then I make sure that it's like not hovering over the, the video. And I just do video best reviewer. You can do most recent upload or a specific video. But yeah, anyways, uh, I just go save and I can make it public. Okay, now it's public and I can save it. Voila, it's up. So now I'll just post the thumbnail on my Insta story and that's all done. Morning guys. It's literally such a beautiful day today. So I'm actually gonna paint our bedside tables. We got them like with the rattan to match. We have heaps of rattan around our house. For example, this one and our bed head is rattan as well. Um, so yeah, we wanted our bedside tables to have rattan, but it's kind of too much brown because our bed head is all brown. And then our duvet covers like a sort of sandy, um, like beige grayish sort of color so I'm gonna give them a paint today and I'll show you how I do it I guess it's like not really like a big DIY um, just a small DIY but I thought I would show you how to do it in case you were wondering this is our before she looks cute first off I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean and then I'm I'm gonna do a bit of a test on the back and I'm just using this like indoor house paint from Bunnings so hmm, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Okay, time to peel the tape off. This is gonna be so freaking satisfying. So this is what they're looking like. Luke didn't want me to paint the legs, but literally looking at them, I think I need to paint the legs. Um, I need to go get a paintbrush though, because that roller, yeah, I won't be able to do the legs with that. But I think it looks much better. But mm, yeah, now the legs need painting. As in with this one, I don't know if you can tell, but I did like a, Gosh, I don't know what to call this textured look. When we brought the couch in yesterday, uh, I wanted to take the legs off, but Luke was like, no, 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 and I was like, I need to take them off anyway. Anyways, we put a hole in the wall. So we got some like filler stuff last night and then obviously we have heaps left over. So yeah, I've seen like a little bit of furniture like this. So um, 
because we actually bought this like one too and that one was broken like the hinges and stuff so they sent us a new one and then they didn't want the other one back because it's broken i was like i don't want to waste it you know like at least we could do it up put it in our spare room or do it up and like sell it as like a cute like i've seen open heaps of open um bedside tables so yeah obviously i'm gonna paint this white afterwards or maybe just like the top white and leave the legs. I don't really, don't know the plan. Like that's just putty, there's no paint on that. But I think it looks kind of cool, a bit textured. I'm assuming Luke's not gonna like it, <laughs> but you know, it was fun. It's now Monday and uh, I actually have the day off work because Bambi is really sick. So I had to take her to the vet and then I had like an appointment so I couldn't leave it. Like, Anyways, so I have a whole spare day to finish off my little projects, which is nice. Um, so I have made the executive decision that I'm gonna paint the bottom. Well, actually, I already did, <laughs> but I'm going to complete it. I mean, honestly, kinda don't look. Like, I really don't want this on the internet. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Obviously needs another coat. So I've done the plastering and a little bit of sanding. I still need to dust off the sanding, obviously, and give it a bit of a paint. So I might sand like the laminate because it's kind of like, uh, it's hard to explain. Like, I don't think you're supposed to paint over laminate or maybe there's like a special paint, but it like lifts, not lifts off. That's not the right word. It kind of like separates, like it doesn't sit. Um, but now that I've got like one layer of paint done, the other layer should be all right. That's what I'm gonna get up to today. Uh, I also realized I wasn't making the quality of my videos 4K or like, I don't know, the best they could be on my iPhone. Now we have 64K. Don't really know what that means, but hopefully it's better because I noticed like in some clips, especially like when it's dark and stuff, um, can be a little bit like grainy and no one wants to watch shitty video quality like i get that so i'll definitely be able to finish these off today and hopefully i can make a start on the couch i just don't know how my day is quite gonna go because i might have to wait at the vets for bambi since she was kind of like a squeezing um but i'm so grateful that they could fit her in like literally so grateful poor little thing's so sick yeah i might pop on some oh my gosh our house looks so messy honestly <laughs> just don't look uh, so yeah i might pop on some netflix while i do this um and i'll try and film it but i probably won't film much just because i'm waiting for a call from the vet but you know yeah also i did my hand today <laughs> i literally haven't blow dried my fringe in like a month i got it done maybe like a month and a bit ago like six weeks ago and i haven't blow dried it in forever because it's it just never sits like the way that the hairdressers blow dry it, but I'm pretty happy with how I blow dried it today. Um, but yeah, it's still a little bit frizzy. Also, we had Halloween last night and literally zero children came. We had like a whole massive bowl of candy and no one, and I mean no one came. So we're really upset because we thought we were going to be like the cool neighbors. Mm. But no. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, let's get stuck back into some painting. Okay, so this is the final product. I think they look so much better. Um, that's what I was saying about the bed head before. You know how uh, I said it was like too much brown? Um, well, I only made half of the bed because one of our pillows is in the wash. So it'll look uneven. But anyways, uh, you get the gist. Um, yeah, I think they look so cute. I also need to redo Bambi's little bed that she literally never sleeps in. It's kind of just for look. And Luke's is on this side, so it's all nice and symmetrical. I think I might do like um, two prints up here either side. I don't really know. And then maybe put like a plant where that bed is. Um, just because Bambi 
like I said, never goes in it. These little terrazzo bedside lamps are just from Fantastic Furniture. They're like 30 bucks. And they're so cute. Just like you. This is the situation of that couch that I was talking about reupholstering. So stay tuned for my next video for that one because I'll be doing that like kind of this weekend and maybe today if I get time. So if you want to learn how to reupholster a couch, stay tuned for that. Oh, actually I haven't finished the other bedside table, the one that I like plastered. I haven't actually finished painting it yet. So I'll show you in the next video as well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I guess it wasn't really a DIY, but you know. Oh well, I had fun. I filmed, I got creative and I hope I inspire you to get creative as well and do some DIYs. Repurposing furniture is so ideal. Um, and it's so like, Sorry, I just changed rooms because the lighting wasn't that cute. Or even like the little second section at Ikea. Or yeah, if you get something off Facebook Marketplace. Um, just Google how to like upcycle it. And yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's easier than people think. Um, or even if you just want to make something look a bit more high-end than it does. Um, yeah, it's just fun, you know. Anyways, I hope this video um, sparked some creativity and inspiration and stay tuned for my next video where we do some more fun things. So I'll see you then. Bye.